hello guys welcome back to my channel in the last video we talked about sitecore content hub admin certification and we discussed some of the important things to uh, to you know to remember and to give more focus on before uh, writing for the writing admin certification so today we are going to do the same thing but we are we will do it for developer certification because recently i got the opportunity to write uh, content hub developer exam and uh, uh, and you know I thought that this is the right time and right platform to share my learnings and observations with you all so let's just get started okay so uh, so there are a few things to remember just like uh, admin certification uh, uh, but this time the exam duration is uh, 120 minutes it is for two hours the total questions you will get there is 60 and passing percentage is again same like 80 percent you need to uh, if you want to clear it like the minimum you need 80 percent there and then the exam fees is 350 USD and if you if you have a partner uh, you know, code available then you can avail the 70 percent discount and which then it uh, comes to 123.90 USD so this is something which you can leverage if you are working for a partner company so the next thing is uh, in terms of enrollment so the process is, uh, is again same like whatever process we we followed for admin certification the same process we have to follow for developer certification also we just need to go to learning.sitecode.com and uh, if you don't have your account there you can just create it and once you have your account created then you can just search for uh, you know the different certifications which are available there so you'll find content hub developer certification along with other certification then you can just you know uh, select it and um, you can just start going through the study materials which uh, it comes with and so this is basically you know the starting point for you if you want to uh, enroll for uh, uh, your certification right so this is it's not like this is something which is not mandatory for you to go over if you are let's see if you feel comfortable with the you know with the, uh, with all the competencies which uh, which comes as part of that exam then you basically don't have to go for the study guide also because this when you enroll for this certificate uh, this exam from elearning.sitecode.com basically you will get some uh, you know some study material in terms of some competencies which um, you know the aspect uh, with the aspect as part of uh, the exam and uh, finally um, you also get to you know uh, clear one quiz and basically it's not uh, basically it's uh, just some kind of sample questions which you can you know refer as an you know um, as an you know um, reference point for you that these type of questions you can expect in the exam also but yeah this is the first step like you basically have to enroll and then um, st start going through the study guide which is which is um, given there so after the enrollment is done um, yeah so if you go there then you will find uh, in terms of exam competencies in the last video we talked about about admin certification you know, there are there were 12 competencies which uh, which comes as part of the admin um, exam similarly uh, for the developer certification also it includes admin plus developer so it's a combination of both admin and dev uh, which means whatever competencies uh, comes as part of admin certification those competencies will still be there as part of this developer exam also plus in addition there will be some more competencies which will get added which will which will be specific to your you know your developer um, uh, stuff there so from the administ administrator administration perspective it is all same like schema design just like how we you know we we already discussed it and it is ui configuration branding media processing drm data import and export uh, security reporting enterprise domain model ui and advanced pages entity printing and workflow so this is what you um, expect as part of admin and the new thing which you you get to see over there is your developer competencies which is uh, metadata processing script then you have your developer external develop external page comp uh, components then develop web enabled action scripts how basically you can develop you know these um, action scripts and how you can also develop your external page component how you can get data from uh, from your you know third party libraries those things uh, uh, you get to learn here then it also talks about uh, triggers actions action scripts you know how you can basically use the custom business logic over there in response to some of the 
entity changes with what you know uh, which happens there like in terms of entity modification entity you know save deletion those kind of things so how basically you can trigger these different things based on some of these responses then you also need um, need to go over how basically you can you know first of all how what different types of scripts are available right so there are different uh, kind of scripts which are available and then implement user sign in scripts also is is one of the is one of uh, the main thing uh, which you will learn here then the last point is develop link queries in combination with action scripts that are in process and auto process so this is uh, again an important uh, topic to consider like you will exp you can expect you know two to two to three questions from this uh, from this topic alone so yeah this is what uh, we basically have to go over right now um, but the important thing um, uh, is here is that whatever whatever uh, you know uh, uh, the study guide which is available to you so that is you know that actually plays an important role here right because if you can just go over the certificate if you can just go over that study guide and all the key points all the you know all the uh, links which has been shared over there i think you know you are you know you you uh, i feel you know very confident that if we can anyone like who can actually just go over those um those you know competencies those links shared over there just go over all the um all the you know code which has been shared over there from the developer side of it i feel comfortable that you know you guys can actually crack it and anybody can crack it right okay so then uh, the exam registration so so far we have talked about you know just uh, the enrollment in the e e-learning platform to get access uh, only for that study guide but once you know after the after the long preparation let's say if you feel comfortable that okay now you are ready and then you can um, then you can you know actually write the exam then you can just go to WebSSR platform just fill in you know you you basically have to log in with your professional email ID over there which is registered so if you don't have an account you can create your account over there then once you logged into that WebSSR account then you can just search for uh, exam which you want to opt for so in this case you can see it is Sitecode Content Hub Developer Certification length is 120 minutes and then uh, when exactly you want to schedule that uh, that exam you know uh, there will be uh, from current date to you know uh, to any other date which you can just select and there will be different uh, slots available there so uh, there will be you know quite a lot of slots uh, which you can which you can find there based on your uh, time so then uh, the price will be given here which is 350 and then as i mentioned before if you have a uh, if you're working for a partner company then you can apply for that certificate then we can apply for that uh, voucher code and uh, once you apply it then your you know cost will you will get that 70 percent partner discount and that di partner discount is something which is available till 30th of june uh, that's what uh, my understanding is and uh, yeah post to i think starting from july i'm not sure maybe they they will renew it or they will continue that that is something we have to check for check and wait for but yeah till 30th of june you can basically apply that voucher code which is uh, which is what um, is available uh, for you so yeah just apply the voucher code submit it and then uh, your exam is all registered right and then you will also get an option to change the timings and all those different things you will get and there is a limit over there like how you know before like 24 hours or 48 hours you can do that and if you do it you know less uh, if you let let's say if you do it you know in in like 12 hours and things like that then i think you might have to pay something extra over there that is something which i have not tried but there is a uh, there is some special note which has been given there when you went to once you register for that so you can just take a look of those notes also then yeah in terms of uh, uh, some special attention uh, study guide right so this is what I've already mentioned uh, when we're discussing about admin certifications study guide is really important and uh, from the study guide also the key point with them mentioned right for every topic for every competency that is really really important you can definitely expect something from those study points itself so that you have to you know don't you there is no way you uh, you know we can skip uh, those uh, those uh, key points so that is really important um yeah and uh, as i mentioned like all the links which has been shared in the study guide that is again important you know you have to basically go over those uh, uh, links and see 
um, and just 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 try to go over all the topics which has been mentioned there. This is again important thing as I mentioned before. Also, cardinality and relations uh, are really important to her because this time also uh, when I was writing this uh, developer certification, I I got you know quite a questions from um, relations itself, right? So this is really important. Just get a good hold of uh, cardinality and relation in terms of your entity, in terms of you know how you want to add. Let's say if you want to add some new uh, you know members to your existing. Um, uh, you know existing entity so whether it will be a um, you know taxonomy relation entity relation relation in general you know like those kind of things uh, you should get a good hold of so just spend some time in in relations itself and um, you know, and uh, i think um, you'll get you'll really feel confident uh, when you uh, when you, you know go for your exam so relations sir is an important topic uh, from the certification perspective and from the developer side go through the code thoroughly so the study guide which they have shared uh, for every competency you if you go there like you will find some set of codes like uh, uh, there will be a code available you know in terms of metadata processing there will be a code um, in terms of uh, 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 mail you know uh, the email template how you can basically create your email template there will be a code in terms of you know how you'll write the link to queries for performing certain actions so those things so those thing those scripts are really important you know just don't go over those scripts uh, just like that uh, you basically need to understand each and every line of it and uh, and just see if you can basically you know practice those uh, scripts because if you feel comfortable with those scripts then i think um, you know uh, because um, uh, I have seen, you know, several questions from those scripts itself uh, coming in the exam. So just uh, pay special attention to those scripts. And two questions might be interrelated. Let's say um, uh, what um, I've seen there is, let's say, you know, there is a question, and if you feel, uh, you know, if you're not sure that, um, you know, if you're not sure in terms of what is the actual answer of this question then you can you can also you know just observe other questions also because maybe there will be a there will be another question asked you know uh, at the later point of time which basically has some reference to the question which you just skipped right so those questions might be interrelated so if you if you know the answer of you know the second question and for some reason if you're not if you are not sure for the first question then after giving answer for the second question you will you feel comfortable and you can just go back and you know answer that question so um, i've seen this for i think two to three questions uh, those questions were related and that actually helped me so that is also something which you have to um, think and keep in mind that uh, if you feel you know if you are not sure about a particular question then see if you know there is some other question given there which is uh, you know somehow related to that question so that also something which you have to keep in mind and read the questions very carefully as I mentioned in there will be certain questions where the answers will be there directly in the question itself so don't just you know doing don't just be in a you know a very hurry buddy kind of thing like just you know be calm and just read the questions really carefully uh, very carefully and uh, for some questions um, I can say that you know you will find the answers in the questions itself right so this is what you um, can expect from there and yeah there are just few things which I just want to share in terms of you know some sample questions and yeah and before that just one more thing which I want to say is uh, see if you have already um, if you're already uh, content hub admin certified and if you are going for developer certification and if you think that whatever admin um, questions you know you have prepared in the, in the last uh, for the last uh, certification exam that that you know you are comfortable with that and if you are just assuming that you know I know the questions which were asked previously and then maybe you know this time also it will be it will be just a subset of the question which were asked previously so that is a wrong assumption right because for me whatever questions um, I have seen in admin certification and this time when I actually wrote developer certification I have seen very f you know very few questions uh, from admin certification like whatever I have written last time so th the admin questions were also different right it I'm not saying it is hundred percent different but at least I can say I've uh, in terms of you know um, the question which I have seen you know already there I think 10 to 20 percent questions only were you know were repeated as here and rest 80 to 90 percent I can say were all you know, new for me
so that is also that is something you you have to uh, keep in mind don't be you know don't go with with an assumption that okay you maybe you have just written somewhere those questions and then okay yeah, i know these questions and then you know based on this one i can just you know uh, answer all my admin questions on the developer exam and i just have to prepare only for the developer one so that's not that's not the you know uh, correct approach i i i'll say here because uh, questions are different right so the question which uh, they have asked on admin certification and this time on the developer side the questions what they have given from the admin those were different there were few things which were common but majority of the questions were different at least in my case it was different okay so now um, just some sample questions for as a reference uh, because this is there were several other i don't want to you know disclose everything but th there are few things which you can you know i just want to give you a kind of heads up like these kind of questions you can expect there if you are attempting it for the first time then from the developer side you can expect like you know uh, three aspects of drm whether it is territory admin uh, you know media assets or time frame this was the question which i got then how basically you make the field secure then um, if you want to download a report for the last one how you know what chart component you will use then uh, DRM contract you know is a parent to write profile it's a true or false statement so that kind of you know uh, these kind of questions I uh, I got from admin side of it then from the developer side how basically you know you can create an email template so as I mentioned before just go over the just go over those uh, uh, code thoroughly and if you if you know how to you know create those uh, templates programmatically then you should be able to answer this question then you will get questions like what exactly this you know code does like they, they will basically sh give some code snippets to you and just tell you that you know just interpret it what this is actually doing there right so in this case you know there is a there was a statement like context dot external user info dot provider as not equals to google so the question was what exactly this code is checking right so these kind of questions you can expect and uh, there was also a question on what this query will actually return right this is from your last competency from the developer side so this is just you know kind of snapshot of uh, the questions which you can expect there there are a lot of you know different questions which you'll, which you'll see there there are total 60 questions so um yeah just go over those um, admin admin side of it you just refresh it and if you have sandbox environment with you i would say just go over that sandbox and start preparing at least for the admin side and from the developer side also uh, the special attention should be given to those scripts which is been shared there and i think once you prepare this way um, uh, i think you are going definitely going to you know uh, succeed over there there is no way uh, you are going to lose anything after this so yeah that's what i just wanted to share as part of this video hope um, uh, this has actually given you some um, insights on what kind of things you can actually expect from content hub developer certification right i hope this was helpful and yeah uh, pretty much that's it uh, uh, from this uh, video and thank you keep learning